Okay, so I'm going to say something about the song Someone I Like. You know, the story behind it, if you will. <laughs> probably hear a lot of wind uh, so I'm sorry if you can hear wind not me um, also I'm sorry in advance for you know me branching off I'm just really like that tree over here branching off I'm gonna digress probably and because you know that's me um, someone I like. Back in 2006 or 7 or so. Mark, my manager, he gave me this AW4416 Yamaha. Pro workstation sound machine thing. It was to record my ideas. It was a. I'm gonna show you probably right now. And what it did was I, I was digging in the machine trying to figure it out. And you had to press, you had to, you had to put a microphone in it or an instrument. Then you had to press like track one and uh, you know record your idea. And then afterwards you could. Play it back and then press number two, track two. Simultaneously, you could hear the song and record another. You probably don't understand what I'm saying, right? But it's important. So you could layer it. That's what I'm saying. You could layer and layer on top of the first idea, another idea. So for instance, you'd have, I'd, I'd record a drums. Then I'd play the song back and record the bass. Then I'd play the song back. You could hear the drums in the bass and then record a piano, etc., etc. So, so here goes. I am. Th then one day I just recorded a vocal line. Someone. And afterwards I recorded another vocal line on top of that first. Someone. And another, and another, and another. And that's how Someone I Like was born. I just went with the moment. I just followed melodies that you know sprung out of me um, it was really special and also to hear the result afterwards just by you know going with the flow in the moment so that's why it's a very special song You know, it got it, it really got mixed up and re and really messy because you know a bass line could, could change suddenly into a high vocal and uh, you know like a mid vocal would would suddenly shift to a lower range and then go back to high. It was a complete mess, but. The force of the song was there. I just had to later on, you know, analyze what I did and try to keep a bass line a bass line and, you know, figuring, in, figuring out what I did and was trying to, what a, what a vocal line uh, uh, had to be. Someone. That was the hardest part, you know, digging through my own demo. But you know, that's what I did. I, I just, I just had to record this song one day, and uh, so like I said, 2006. It's a long, it's been a long time. And every year, it 
just came back to me uh, saying, record me. Create me. Uh, and I did. I will let you hear the uh, part of or a snippet of the demo and then uh, hopefully you can enjoy the end result of someone I like. You could be. Take care. You bye could bye. be someone. someone. You would be someone I like.